time for the weekly Stampin' Tip. As I told you guys, Tammy Wilson ties these amazing, have you seen her bows? I mean, can you just look at this for a second? They are so stinking adorable. Now, I watched her video and I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I watched it, paused it, watched it, backed it up, paused it, forward, back it up. And I went through this video, I mean, so many times. It was on the Stampin' Up! Uh, US, I believe, Stampin' Up! Facebook uh, page, right? But I went back and forth and back and forth. Now, as much as I appreciate Tammy doing that, as a content creator, I'm looking at it going, I'm going to slow this down and walk you through it because she is brilliant. I mean, but she knows what she's doing. She just ties her little ribbon and I struggled <laughs> trying to follow her. So to prevent everybody else from having to go back and forth and back and forth, I'm going to honor Tammy and I'm going to break it down, slow it down a bit and walk you through it. Now, what she did is she used the um, new, what do they call it? The open weave ribbon, okay? And she cut it in half. And the reason why I'm figuring that she did that, I'm trying to find mine. I've got a million ribbons out here because I've got a project on the go. But the reason why I think she does that, from what I can tell, is first of all, you've got four little loops on each side for your bow, right? So imagine if you were using the entire width, that would just get really busy, right? So cutting it down, making it thinner really seemed to work well. Now I've got in here some of this just thin satin ribbon. I mean, I've had this for, I don't know how long. I'm sure I got it at Walmart, Michael's dollar store. I don't even know, but it was nice and thin and I don't have many of these open weave ribbons. I only have the magenta and the pale papaya and they didn't really go together. So I'm going to cheat and bring this one in. I have ordered all the rest, but I've got a video coming up really soon. It's 16 cards. I mean, 16 fast and simple cards, you guys. I'm going to use these bows, but these 16 cards are definitely going to be 16 cards on a budget. You're going to love them. So what I did was I cut 20 inches in half. And let me show you what I mean by in half. And don't get too worked up about 20 inches because you've got to remember you're getting two pieces out of that. So it's actually one 20 inch piece is going to give you two ribbons, which is 40 inches, right? So all you're going to do is you're going to come up the middle here and you're just going to cut it in half, okay? Now, unlike regular organdy ribbon, you can't do this with a regular piece of organdy, um, this kind of stuff, because it'll just fray. It will fray a little if you overhandle it, but not enough that you're ever going to notice. So once you've got that piece cut out, you'll either cut in half a second one to match or pull out any other little thin ribbon that you have. I know you all have tons of ribbon in your stash. So again, I'm cheating today and I'm not using both Stampin' Up, but that's okay because you know what? There's no Stampin' Up police here and I can use whatever ribbon I want, right? So, okay, what we're gonna do is we've got 20 inches, okay? So I'm going to leave, I'm gonna do this this way because my tails are curled in. If I do it this way, my tails are curled out so the bow will go out that way. So I want them to come in this way. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna leave about four inches of a tail just hanging there. And I'm gonna just make a loop, trying to keep my ribbons kind of lined up with one another. I'm gonna make my first loop. Now here's where this is so, so important. And this is the point I kept missing when I was watching Tammy's video, is every time she makes a loop, she puts these two pieces of ribbon on the back of this loop that you're making, okay? So if you can see here, you're gonna make your loop and it goes on the back and now you're gonna hold that. And then this was the other point I was missing is when you make this second loop, this here is also going in the back, okay? So all of these loops you're making, you're holding with your first finger, nothing is gonna be underneath your thumb except for that four inch tail that you originally held. So nothing comes into the front, it all goes into the back, okay? And then the next loop, I'm gonna line up my two pieces of ribbon, okay? And then I'm gonna make my next loop here, and then I'm going to hold it in the back, 
and then I'm going to make my last loop kind of lining up my pieces of ribbon okay and then holding that in the back okay oh I let it go okay there we go now it looks like a hot mess right now that's totally fine this was the last point I was missing. So what she does here is she does this loop over and put the tails through the loop thing. But what I was missing was to turn my hand, okay? So the top of your hand should be facing up when you do this and your thumb should be pointing down. But for the video purposes, I'm gonna tilt my hand so that you can see what it is I'm doing. So again, the, t the, the, the back of your hand faces up, your thumb faces down, okay? So this, this position. You're going to take this long tail that you've been making your loops with and you're going to go over top of these loops here. Now I like to hold, I'm going to just reposition my fingers, I like to hold this once I make my little loop, I like to hold this in between my first and second finger because that's going to allow me a big loop right here. See this big loop and this is in the front even though it's laying over, it's in the Front of these loops okay that my thumb is pointing towards then I'm going to take my two longest tails and I'm going to put them through coming from the front over top of my thumb put them through that big loop now here you don't want that loop to fall over so pull this towards you as you're kind of tightening it okay and then once you pull it a little tighter it's going to kind of hold everything in place all right, then pull each little tail tight. Bring these forward. Each tail tight, there we go. Bring these forward. And now, those go around the back actually. I've only made, I think, 15 or 14 of these, but nevertheless, okay. And your little knot, you can manipulate it, right? To kind of like go sideways you know a little to the left a little to the right but once you've got it all in place and you trim off your little tails you are left with the most adorable of course you're just going to play with it like I did this one and just kind of you know fluff it up a little bit but they are the most adorable bows. I absolutely am obsessed with them. I love them. So keep an eye out now for that video coming up, 16 easy cards, because they are 16 cards you're gonna whip up so, so easily on a budget. And then these these little bows are just gonna take, a, take those cards over the top. Now, thank you for joining me this morning. Let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments below. I'm dying to hear what everybody thinks. And until I see you again, take care and happy stamping.